editing master slides now. We do view, master, slide master. And that allows us to make changes. I'm not going to show you how to change font. You've done that before. We're going to have a look at the background of the slide. We can use the drop down here to choose colors from the inbuilt schemes. And just a then we've also got more colours that allow us to fine-tune our colour choice of background. Really interesting though is fill effects, where we can choose a single colour and then alter the shading style. Click on OK and we can see what that will look like on our master slide. Going back into the background and back onto... Whoops... That should be back on to fill effects. We've got two colours. We can adjust each colour independently. And again, the shading styles at the bottom. And there's also presets, some really interesting patterns on there. Let's just choose one of those and OK it. And apply and see what that looks like. OK, back on to format background. What else is there? Back on to fill effects. We'll have a look at the texture button that allows you to add texture to the background of your slide. There is also a pattern. Again, you can make a choice of colours at the bottom. And finally, there is a picture where you can select a picture from your computer to add into the background of the slide. And get some really interesting effects there. I'm just going to reset it back to white so we can see the next bit. We can also format the placeholders. Clicking on a placeholder and then doing format placeholder. Oops, got the wrong button there. Format placeholder allows us to change the colour, the fill colour of that object. Choose red and then we can also adjust the transparency of that so we can see through the object. Now looking at the bulleted lists here, selecting any line and doing format bullets and numbering, we can make it change between a numbered list and a bulleted list. I'm going to choose a bullet and change its colour to red and click on OK and show you what that looks like. So we've got a square bullet there. Choosing the second level, use format bullets and numbering again to show you that we can use picture. Picture shows you all the items in your clip art gallery that you can also use as bulleted items. We can see it there. On the third level, we'll select format bullets and numberings again to show you that we can also use customize. Customize allows us to choose any symbol off your computer and use that as part of the bulleted list. Let's return to normal view and show what that will look like. Choose a slide with a bulleted list on it. Then we can use the increase indent button and that takes the indent to the second level. Press it again, takes indent to the third level using the appropriate symbol each time and we can use a decrease indent to move the, the level backwards and forwards. Go back into the master slide view from view master slide master. These placeholders can be moved around. You can position them and resize them so you're making the master slide present itself how you want it to be rather than the inbuilt default. You can format any of these placeholders of, as we've just been looking at. OK. And also you can delete them simply by clicking and then press the delete key on your keyboard. But please remember, the master slide is to adjust appearance. You do not add any text to the master slide. That's not what it's for.